bakit gusto mo pang dumagdag pa ng another work? Bakit mo pa gusto? Eh kasi 'di ba parang full time na full time ka na diyan. Ay I believe that time is gold. Want to maximize time. Uh, so, kung ari kung meron akong trabaho ng 8 to 5 or minsan naging 8 to 8. So, ano yung gagawin ko outside those work hours? As they say, corporate job has a ceiling in terms of earnings. So, uh, unless ikaw ay nasa sales, di ba? Na meron ka mga commission, etc. Uh, meron lang akong ceiling rin in terms of income. So, I thought of paano kaya kung mag-add ako ng things that I do. I ventured into this, yung ASVA. It's totally new for me. Ibig sabihin, when you're learning, you're expanding. And uh, when you're expanding, you get to do a lot of things or more things than you were doing before. When you have high income skills, it will translate to high income in the future. Hello everyone and welcome to our very very special episode here in Aspa Success Kamustahan kung saan kinakamusta namin ang mga former students kamusta na ba sila ngayon and ano na ang mga ganap nila sa live inside and outside of being an Amazon VA Ikaw ba nakatali sa corporate job at naghahanap ng additional income or gusto mo bang magkaroon pa ng additional skills dagdag kaalaman na someday ikaw na ang parang pinakang Amazon business person. Or in the future, gusto mo maging Amazon seller. Yan. So, my special guest here is none other than Apollo G. Ay, wait lang bago ka magsalita, guys. Look how beautiful our background is. Hindi yan zoom background. Hindi yan green screen. Talagang dagat yan. Comment down below kung saan Nyo sa tingin itong beach na ito. Ayan. Okay, going back to you. Guys, please welcome Apollo G! Yay! Hello, okay, hi Apollo. How are you doing? I'm really feeling great because we're here in a very serene environment. A very naturey. So, katuloy nga na sinabi ni Nina, hindi tayo ngayon nasa isang Zoom background. Ito ay totoo. Real life. Real life. Nagpaalam ka ba sa boss mo? Yes, I'm on leave actually today. Okay. So, how's your day-to-day -day life as a corporate employee having to manage a big area in the Philippines? Sa mga hindi nakakaalam, Abolo is an area manager. So, grabe yan. Hindi sila, wala silang, ano ba yun? 9 to 5. 12 to 12 sila. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. So to answer your question, how am uh, how is my day-to-day -day, uh, in my full-time job? So currently, I'm doing well and also enjoying yung uh, full-time corporate job ko. Pero as uh, any full-time corporate job, it's also taxing in, uh, in a way that demand for work, yung demand for output is really high. So I really find ways on how to enjoy it. So yung day-to-day -day ko yan, uh, site, site visits uh, for I think Tuesday to Friday and then Mondays are all packed with meetings. So mga 8 to 5. So minsan after noon, meron pa mga pahabol na kailangan reports and also meron din mga meetings na lumalampas than 5 p.m. Pero what's important is you enjoy the work and at the same time you also enjoy your workmates, your colleagues kasi uh, that will make you stay uh, as a corporate job. Okay, I see. So, na mention mo na you're finding ways to enjoy. Hindi mo ba na enjoy yung work mo? Currently, na enjoy naman. Pero iba rin kasi yung balance of uh, being here on a day to day, for example, and working from home, for example. So, enjoying, I think, is relative. Pero now, uh, I'm. Uh, more of enjoying yung interaction with colleagues and also the learnings that I'm getting from uh, the corporate job. Bakit gusto mo pang dumagdag pa ng another work? Bakit mo pa gusto? Eh kasi ba parang full-time na full-time ka na dyan. Eh. I believe that 
time is gold. Kasi so, I want to maximize time. Uh, so, kuwari, kung meron akong trabaho ng 8 to 5 or minsan naging 8 to 8. So, ano yung gagawin ko outside those work hours? So, that's when I thought of other things that I can make money from. Uh, kapag uh, tapos na, for example, yung corporate job. Kasi, as they say, corporate job has a ceiling in terms of earnings. So, uh, unless ikaw ay nasa sales, di ba? Na meron ka mga commission, etc. Meron pa rin talagang ceiling. So, kung ito yung sweldo mo, ito talaga yung ibibigay sa'yo on a month-to-month basis. So, for sure, may mga bonus plus-plus. Pero, y- you get what I'm saying. Na meron talagang ceiling, hindi siya unlimited. So, uh, meron lang akong ceiling rin in terms of income. So, I thought of paano kaya kung mag-add ako ng things that I do. So, yun yung number one. Uh, to maximize my time. Tapos number two siguro is to earn more. Kasi I also have aspirations in life. I want to add value more to people. And with uh, the earnings that I'll get, so I, I can get to add more kapag ka I have more. So, yun yung pangalawa. Uh, to earn. And then, pangatlo is to expand myself kasi as I mentioned kanina uh, stretch zone diba than comfort zone so when I ventured into this yung ASVA it's totally new for me ibig sabihin when you're learning you're expanding and uh, when you're expanding you get to do a lot of things or more things than you were doing before yun yung pangatlo to expand myself and yung pangapat siguro is because when you have high income skills it will translate to high income in the future kasi I'm still starting I'm still learning a lot of things pero at the same time already earning so which is good pero in the future I'm seeing myself to master this more and uh, be able to uh, earn more from this. Yon, yun siguro yung apat na bakit ko ginawa to. Ayan. So, I hope you guys, lalo na yung sa mga nagtatrabaho sa corporate, you take down notes, lalo na yung sa gusto ng other sources pa and gusto pang ma-maximize ang kanilang time. Tanong ko sa'yo, Apollo, ba't di mo nalang gawi, galingan pa lalo sa corporate work? Ba't kailangan mo pang maghanap sa labas? Good question. So, there's always opportunity to be better in your job. And that yun yung suggestion ko when you uh, are working on something when you're employed when you're a freelancer you always do your best so kahit anong uh, line of work pa yan kailangan laging ginagalingan kasi uh, that's uh, respect to yourself kasi di ba kung papucho-pucho ka sa trabaho parang hindi mo na rin nirerespeto yung trabaho or hindi mo na rin nirerespeto yung sarili mo kasi when you always do your best you are doing justice to the company or to the client that you are working for and at the same time you're, you're doing justice to yourself kasi when you give your best lagi mong sinasabi sa sarili mo that uh, you are exercising your muscles kasi di ba kapag nag-workout ka mas lalaki yung muscles mo pero kung papucho-pucho lang workout mo hindi lalaki yung muscles mo so yun siguro yung isa to always do your best and then pangalawa yung walang opportunity there are rules kasi in terms of uh, promotion so uh, sa amin for example may window Siyempre, hindi naman, for example, na-promote ka ng uh, ngayon, hindi pwede na next year promoted ka kaagad. Kasi siyempre, in one year ba, you'll be able to get all the skills required for you to go to the next level. So, kumbaga, meron ka pa timing na tinitingnan and meron ka pa rin, uh, rules na kailangan pagbasihan. Kasi yung HR, meron yan mga standards that they follow in terms of promotion. So, during that time na hindi ka pa napapromote, kahit anong gawin mo, uh, yes, you will learn. Yes, you will expand. Pero in terms of additional income, uh, may ceiling pa rin siya, as I mentioned. Whereas, kapag, uh, for example, sa ASVA, uh, pwede ka mag-add ng client, di ba? pwede ka mag-charge higher, hindi kailangan na after six months, after one year, as long as you already proved yourself that you can do it, as long as you prove yourself that you are capable of doing the next task, for example. So, kung generalist ka ngayon as well, kung marunong ka na mag-PPC, hindi mo kailangan maghintay ng one year para mag-charge ng PPC level mm. as compared sa corporate we're in you need also to play in terms of rules on the regulations and policies of the company. Yan. I see. So it will take a lot of time, even a year, and a lot of process pa before you get that promotion and bago ka makuha yung gusto mong ang dagdag income sa sweldo mo dahil sa, kasi dadaan pa yan sa HR. So ba't di mo nalang bolahin kaya yung HR nyo? <laughs> hindi kasi ganun na go-work yun. Huyan mo ng gifts, ganun. Uy, baka naman, friend. Wala Actually, ganun. for a uh, valid point, kasi corporate uh, also involves some stakeholder management. So, ibig sabihin, you also manage, need to manage the people you work with, which includes HR. Pero, 
uh, for the company that I work with, hindi kasi siya nag-work ng ganun kasi uh, very strict yung aming policies, uh, very uh, robust yung aming rules and regulations. So kaya, yun, hindi siya, <laughs> hindi siya mag-work for us. Magbigay tayo ng brief backer. Ano ba yung natapos mo and ano bang industry yung ginagawa mo? I graduated, uh, I finished chemical engineering uh, in 2014. Mm. So I first entered the industry of uh, mm -hmm. chemicals actually. So I worked for a chemical company before. Uh, parang nag formulate ako ng chemicals for construction. And then after that, yan, I, I transferred into uh, energy company naman now. Yeah. Eh, bakit hindi ka na lang maghanap out dyan sa scope of work mo or kung ano yung expertise mo like sa chemical, pagtimpla timpla ng semento, but di na lang yun ang pinuso mo, but sobrang ibang-iba. Nice. Napaisip rin ako bigla doon. So, ang answer is more of something that I can do from home kasi it's easier than uh, the normal work that we know wherein you need to go to the site, you need to do face-to-face -face meetings, uh, kailangan mong mag-test, di ba? Pumunta sa laboratory. So, I felt that that will have another learning curve and another level of stakeholder management. Whereas dito sa ASVA, matapos mo lang yung course, you give your best, pag-aralan mo talaga siya ng mabuti, take time to find clients, voila, di ba? may income ka na kaagad. And you can work from home. Na, kuwari, natapos yung meeting ko ng 6pm, uh, pwede ako kaagad uh, 6.30, pwede kaagad ako mag-login for my uh, ASVA work. Whereas kung gagawa ako ng uh, another job or work na aligned with my background before, pwedeng magda-drive pa ako, papunta sa next meeting, uh, one hour, and you know yung traffic ngayon sa atin or yung transportation is very challenging. So baka I, I'll just spend time more na nasayang sa traffic than uh, put in the hours already, clock in the work, and actually earn from it. Yan. Okay. So in short, tinatamad ka ng lumabas. <laughs> More of being efficient. Doon sa efficient, time. yeah. Muso mo maximize yung time mo at home because grabe naman talaga yung traffic natin. And madalas, lagi ka nagda-drive sa EDSA, di ba? Yeah. So, iwas traffic. Okay, next question is, pag-usapan naman natin ang iyong experience pagiging as a student. Nag-elite class ka ba? Elite yung may coach, no? Uh Oo. -oh. Yes, yes. Uh, Nag-elite ako yung may coach. Okay. Kamusta naman yung naging experience mo inside? Hindi ka pa nahirapan dahil dami kang ginagawa on the side or... Ako, I suggest everyone who can avail yung may coach to avail it. Kasi when you have a coach, like in any other field, you have uh, another level of accountability. So, di ba kung sa gym, kung may coach ka, kahit na ayaw mo, mas mapipilit ka na magtrabaho for, for yourself, di ba, mag-workout. At sa basketball, kapag may coach ka, mas ipupush ka na kung tinatamad ka mag-training, uh, kailangan mo mag-train. Same rin for ASVA kasi as Nina mentioned, uh, because I have full-time job, so sometimes, di ba, may mga oras na uh, parang gusto ko nalang magpahinga. Pero when you have a coach, when you have uh, accountability meetings or regular meetings na nakasat sa calendar mo, may hiya ka actually na wag umaten. So, in a way, you're pushing yourself uh, to be accountable doon sa, sa program. So, that really helped me uh, in terms of pushing myself and someone push me uh, in that sense. And next actually is the community kasi uh, hindi before pala community is also, also the group. Kasi uh, pag may coach ka, syempre meron kayong mga coaches, may isa kayong group. So kumbaga hindi lang siya one-on-one, -on -one, pero you get to meet uh, with a group. So that's also good kasi you get to share your experiences or uh, you are on the same boat with your batchmates. Uh, you can ask questions and minsan yung mga questions rin na gusto mong tanongin, tatanong na rin nila. And yung bonus pa dun is you get to meet new friends kasi uh, parang classmates, di ba? Parang ulit kayo na sa, sa klase. So yun yung pangalawa. And then third is what I mentioned, yung community. Kasi we have a Facebook group na mas malaki. 
and uh, more than a thousand yung members so you can just visit that group merong mga files na may kita mo you can browse through and learn from the files there meron ding mga questions na na asked na before meron ding mga job posting and meron ding mga interactions na fun fun lang so you really get to feel that you're in a community doon pa lang sa Facebook group and meron ding Facebook GC so kapag meron kang mga questions na or mga tanong uh, na gusto may sagot ka agad or baka tulog na yung coach mo for example or mga batchmates mo pwedeng ibato mo dun yung tanong tapos other uh, people uh, from ASVA na from different batch or from uh, different coaches yung pwedeng sumagot and actually yung sinasabi rin nila uh, mas maganda na itanong natin sa group kasi kung one on one with your coach ang benefit lang is sa'yo pero kapag tinanong mo sa group as I mentioned, baka yun rin yung tanong ng others, at least mga benefit na rin, malaman na rin nila yung sagot. So, from your questions, um, like just post it, di ba? Marami din makakatuto noon. Ito na matanong ko sa'yo, do you think ASVA is for everyone? Tipong kunyari may pang tuition fee ka na, agad-agad bang magkakaklient ka, agad bang sure balls may income ka na on the side? Maganda na hina-highlight naman to during the the webinars ng ng Amazon Nation na ASVA is actually not for everyone kasi if you're the type of person na gusto mo pagka-enroll mo, pagka-graduate mo is may client ka na kaagad or tipong hindi ka masyado nag-aaral, hindi mo binibigay best mo pero kikita ka. So parang boundary get rich quick. Hindi to for you kasi it still entails hard work. So again, para ka nag-aaral, so give your best na pag-aralan mo talaga. Kasi uh, the effort that you you put in, maibabalik non proportional kung ano yung income na makukuha mo. So kung hindi ka nag-aaral, hindi mo tinitake serious yung courses, hindi ka nagtatanong, hindi ka nagpag-interact, then what do you expect in terms of income? Pero on the other way around, if you really put the effort, uh, you ask questions, you're really curious about it, you really want to learn, uh, darating yung income talaga na, na gusto mo. Kasi you get to expand yourself, uh, you put in the work in terms of finding client, uh, you e- improve yourself. Paano ba? Ano bang ginawa ko malidit sa interview na to? Ano ba yung ginagawa ng ibang coaches? Magtanong ako. Yung resume ko, kailangan baguhin ko ng ganito. So kaya, uh, in the process, you will get clients. And kapag nakuha ka ng client, actually, yun nga yung sinasabi ni, nila eh. Yung first client, yung pinakamahirap kasi wala ka bang portfolio kapag ka nag-start ka. Pero when, once you get that first client, meron ka ng magiging real na experience on Amazon, then it will be easier for you to to get the next client, na premium client, or to improve your income. Or pwedeng additional na, di ba? So yung iba, pinagsasabay, two clients, three clients, uh, kasi yun yung freelancer talaga sila. So that's how you earn from this. So again, it's not get rich quick. It's not uh, na patatamad-tamad lang tayo tapos uh, kikita na tayo or iaasa natin sa program yung ating income. So it's more of just embracing this, putting in the work that uh, you need uh, and put all the hard work and kapag uh, meron kang mga questions, ask from the community and uh, ang dami na actually na kumita from this. So ang dami na, na nakikita ko mga success stories kaya I was also inspired. So Kung maraming nakagawa, for sure, kaya mo rin if you put in the exact template or kung paano nila ginawa. Diba? Ano lang naman yun, hard work, ask questions, collaborate, and uh, really embrace this. Yun. So I think ASVA is like school, diba? Bibigay sa'yo lahat ng materials, lahat ng support you have to do in your work. And kung ano man magiging results, I think kung it's how you also do the work then diba? Kwento mo naman, kamusta naman ang pag-a-apply mo? Nahihirapan ka ba? Ano yung mga naging struggles mo? Yung mga naging hindi nag-work? And paano nag-work? Ano yung, nag, ano yung parang way mo or avenue mo? Paano ka nagkaroon ng client? Ang naging journey ko is after finishing the, the course, so nakuha na ako ng certificate and uh, na-run through ko na, so I, I got a good view already of how the end-to-end of Amazon works. So diba from uh, product research, from uh, supplier sourcing, product listing, PPC, etc. So kumbaga yung general overview pa lang kasi syempre uh, hindi, ko pa, hindi pa ako naka-experience ng actual Amazon work. Pero once I finished all the modules, I got a good feel already on how it works. Tapos, uh, I tried applying sa online jobs PH, sa Upwork. And nag-try pa nga ako sa free up ata, pero na-excite ako masyado. So, yung na-upload ko is yung aking corporate resume. So, dapat pala Kala ano siya. Ah. <laughs> dapat maging... Porket maganda yung corporate... <laughs> 
akala niya, porket maganda corporate resume niya, pasado na sa freelancing. Hindi! Oo, oh, oh, so, <laughs> uh, kaya na-reject ako for free up So, kailangan ko mag-reapply ngayong November, kasi parang August ko ginawa yun. So, three months after, pwede ka mag-reapply. So, kaya, tinweak ko na yung aking resume to uh, align with freelancing work. So, nag-apply ako sa mga yun, pero... Ang ginawa ko is medyo naging picky ako sa application. So, parang nag-apply ako, apat lang, ganyan. Uh, mga apat per week pa nga eh. Kasi yung ibang ginagawa nila, parang 10 per day. Minamaximize talaga nila. And yun yung dapat yung gawin actually. So, when I was applying, uh, wala akong nakukuha na reply from them. And then, how ASVA actually, or the Amazon Nation uh, team helped me, or the community helped me, is through referrals. Because actually, the first client that I got, which I have now, is referred was referred to me by none other than <laughs> si Ninya. So, kasi, uh, nakakuha siya ng client na yon pero uh, she was... Uh, thinking of not accepting the offer kasi uh, marami na siyang clients that she's working on so yung additional client na yan may may not fit in her schedule already so what she did was uh, she recommended me dun sa client na yon so that's the first step pero what did I do to, to get that client is to show credibility. So, we hopped on a Zoom call or Google Meet call and then uh, he started interviewing me kung anong alam ko sa ASVA, kung paano gawin yung ganito, ganyan. So, because of my knowledge from the courses, from the modules, so I was able to give sensible answers and uh, I was able to illustrate and show na alam ko yung Amazon end-to-end uh, kahit na surface pa lang. So with that, uh, he was convinced that I uh, I can work with him. So kaya yun, I was able to to start. So para nag start ako two months ago uh, in terms of uh, having this client. And so far, I am enjoying the work that I am doing uh, and the collaborations that we're having. And natutuwa ako pag nakikita ko mga meetings niyo. It seems that you guys are having fun. Very holistic ang kanilang relationship. Wow, my God. Nang kanyang client and ng kanyang teammate. Actually, guys, this is the reality of if you're gonna be part of a community. Actually, ako, ako yung unang kinontact na person if I want the opportunity. But of course... Learn how to say no. Pag hindi na kaya ng schedule and ng time, you have to let it go kasi nakakahiya din naman sa client. And then I know that this guy is very, um, has the drive to become an Amazon VA. And hindi lang sa kanya ito nangyayari. Yeah. To everyone inside, especially pag may mga season VAs na inside the community, ang una nilang hinahanapan or ina-ask ng sinong gusto mag-apply or for referral is inside the ASVA community. Kasi syempre, pare-pareho kayo ng pinanggalingan, alam nyo na yung mga pinag-aralan nyo. So, lagi ka lang, yun. So, l- mga iba, lagi nag-aabang sa Facebook page that my client is looking for a product researcher, product lister, send me your CV, guys. Sino dito yung ano? So, that's the culture of our community is tulungan. Ayan. So, going back to you, I am so proud of you. I heard na yung rate sa'yo ng client mo ay nagulat ka. Doble. So, <laughs> kala mo, <laughs> akala mo, kwento mo nga. <laughs> okay, so, uh, because I, w- I already applied uh, sa online jobs and sa Upwork, Eh, pero yun nga, pa, apat-apat lang per week ganun kasi I'm also picky sa, sa client. So, we, we had uh, this conversation and also I watched some uh, YouTube success, uh, ASPA success uh, stories and kamustahan wherein uh, si bartender ata yun na mention niya na uh, he started first sa isang client na not so high yung payment. But after that, after gaining the real experience on how Amazon works, nag-jump siya kaagad sa next client and he was able to somehow command or get yung uh, rate na gusto niya. So, I'm on the first phase pa kasi ang nangyari is uh, after the referral, so I was very honest naman that uh, I, ha- I hadn't had any Amazon experience pa. So, ibig sabihin, very newbie in this industry. So, ibig sabihin, hindi pa ako makapag-command ng rate na gusto ko. So, binigyan niya ako ng rate that is very for beginner. 
pero I was as I was doing the work already kasi ang mindset ko lang is not on the income at first kasi di ba kahit naman sa business eh, hindi ka naman kikita kaagad on the first few months for example so uh, kailangan mo pang uh, talagang pagtrabuhan is set up yung negosyo so yun yung mindset ko for this is set up ko muna yung sarili ko uh, get the feel of how Amazon works and uh, get the experience uh, I needed and kaya hindi ko muna iniisip yung income because I have a full-time job. So, yun rin actually advantage for those who, uh, who have full-time job kasi at least you have safety net. Diba? You have safety blanket wherein pwedeng dawin muna siya on the side. Hindi ka masyadong mag-iisip na uh, at kakabahan, diba? na panic ka masyado kasi wala ka ng income. So, yun yung good for me kasi hindi ko muna iniisip yung income. Uh, ginagawa ko lang yung trabaho, learning, giving my best and collaborating well with my client. And then yun, ay nagulat lang ako na when I got my payment from Wise na parang yung one month na pinag-usapan namin na income, parang nakuha ko lang siya in 15 days. So, kaya nun, syempre mas lalo kong ganahan kasi actually yun rin yung sinabi ng client eh. So, he also wants to to value the, the time that I'm putting in and the work that I'm giving kasi syempre kung masyadong mababa yung income na nakuha mo, baka hindi ka masyadong ganahan, di ba? So, kumbaga yung just lang for the uh, work that I'm putting in, the experience that I have, and also the output that I uh, bring to the table. So, yeah. Yan. Congratulations for that income, surprisingly. Yun. So, salary range tayo, or salary reveal. Yung uh, sweldo na binibigay sa ni client mo, mga ilang years or months mo pa yon matatanggap sa promotion sa corporate. Kasi ito, pagka-hire mo, within 15 days, 30 days, meron ka na. Eh, kung ganung additional income na yon, gano'ng katagal yun sa corporate? Okay, so, ang income na na-receive ko now, on a monthly basis, is on the range of four digits. So, uh, ibig sabihin, mga minimum 10,000 per month. So, kayo nang bahala kung ano yung uh, nasan siya. Pero, ang question is, Kung mapapromote ako, for example, yung 10,000 additional income, for example, kailan mo pa siya makukuha. So, ang promotion kasi, as I mentioned, mga uh, ranging from uh, 3 to 4 years. So, and tama, yung promotion, ganun rin naman yung on, on top of uh, what you are getting now. So, relative naman yan eh, kung magkano yung sinesweldo mo ngayon. So, pero in my case, siguro I, I, will, I would have earned that in uh, 2 years. So, yung promotion na kailangan or yung uh, increase in salary for me to match yung nakuha ko from the client is around 2 years. Kasi meron din tayong yearly increase in income, diba? So, I, I think mga nag-range yan sa 2 to 6 percent, depende sa company or minsan umabot pa ng 8 percent yearly na annual salary increase. So, imaginein kung nag increase lang yung salary mo ng 2, 3, 4, 5 percent per year, ilang years pa yon kung hindi ka mapopromote para makuha mo yung 4 digit na salary increase. So, yon ma I somehow I see it as I saved around 2 years or 3 years of my time because I was able to get this client and earn from it. Yan. Yay! Very good. Go na rin yan guys ha. Kung yano yon sa reality sa corporate niya, 2 years pa niya makukuha. Whereas you can just be an Amazon VA, learn the skills, give it around a month or 6 weeks. Tapos paghirapan niyo talaga maghanap ng clients. Do your do your part, ba? Work hard, study, apply and apply and rejections is just normal. And maging ano ren proactive sa community because you never know, may maka-discover sa yos na season virtual assistant then. Ayan. So Apollo, thank you so much dahil binigyan nyo kami ng time na isingit ito sa schedule whereas kung nagre-relax ka lang kanina pa nag yung talaba at shrimp at nandun yung mga iba pa naming orders <laughs> yeah, nabigyan mo pa ito ng time to share and uh, yun mo naman the beautiful view of Barakay so I, before I let you go let you go <laughs> what's your how did your life change ever since nagkaroon ka ng additional income, meron naka-added ka ng skills, and what is your advice sa mga nasa corporate pa na nahihiya pa ba kasabi nila na wala silang time, di kaya ng schedule, what's your advice for that? Okay, so unang question, how my life changed? So, 
uh, ang dami ko kasing course din na tinake before and ang laging selling proposition nila is what would additional 1,000 per month, additional 5,000 per month, additional 10,000 or 50,000 per month will do for you. So, just imagining it, kayo mismo, yung mga nanonood now, imagining nyo, paano kung may extra kayo na 5,000, 10,000, 50,000 on a monthly basis? What's, what would you do? So, ang sa akin, how it changed is I could I could save more kasi I, I'm a believer of uh, saving. So, lagi ako nagsa-save and then invest what uh, I was able to to save. So, ngayon, how my life changed is I'm more excited kasi I'm seeing na, for example, yung condo na gusto kong bilhin, mas uh, kaya na. Kasi, for example, ang amortization ng condo on a monthly basis, let's say, mga nasa 15 to 20,000. So, kung kinikita mo na uh, sa uh, ASVA yun, sa client mo, then diba yung dating pangarap mo lang nas mas nagkakaroon na ng linaw now so ang sa akin mas exciting and at the same time mas uh, excited to do more of this kasi as i clock in the experience the work mas madami akong makukuha na skills and mas makakapag-charge ako ng mas mataas. Kung baga, hindi na lang 4 digits, baka in the future, di ba? Uh, 6 digits na yung, yung additional income for this. So, I'm, how my life change is I, siguro I'm more positive, I'm more excited, then that also translates to the other things that I'm doing. So, and I'm also uh, can provide more for the family, di ba? Every now and then, I can uh, treat them to lunch or dinner or we can go out or uh, even travel, di ba? If time permits. So that's how my life changed. So it changed in a very positive way kasi I'm not seeing this as uh, additional na work or additional na time. So it's more of focusing more on the earnings and what I can do more with this. Yung advice naman for those who are in the corporate uh, world now or full time. So first is do not shortchange your company. So uh, kung nag-work ka pa ngayon full time, always give your best, always put in the work that's needed. So for example, kung 8 to 5 ka, wag na wag ka magsisingit ng any other work doon sa 8 to 5. So gawin mo lang talaga siya. Uh, give justice to the, the company that you're working for. And second is if uh, naghahanap ka ng uh, source of income na uh, additional, talagang pag-aralan mo muna kung uh, kaya mo ba or talagang committed ka ba to do the to do to do the work kasi hindi nga siya sh- uh, get rich quick so you need to clock in talaga the time learn put in the hard work and effort and if you're committed na then uh, really do it di ba uh, be committed uh, gawin mo talaga i-cover mo talaga yung mga kailangan and then after that do everything that you can kasi sayang naman di ba kung mo aralan mo na siya sayang naman kung hindi ka mag-earn from it so ang advice ko is again uh, do not shortchange uh, your company now second is assess and really decide if this is for you kasi na-tackle namin kanina na it's not for everyone and then third if you have decided already that this is for you really put in the 100% of your effort and really do your best para makakapag-earn ka ng income kasi uh, you will be more relaxed dahil nga mayroon ka pang safety blanket hindi ka ganun ka panic so you can give more uh, yung of yourself uh, as compared sa doon na nag-iisip kung ano yung next na kakainin or next na pagkukunan ng uh, for necessities. So yun yung advice ko for nasa full-time ngayon who wants to try this uh, ASVA and also earn from it. Yan. Thank you so much Apollo Go for being here. I know you guys are happy and maraming natutunan sa kanyang values na binibigay. And you know what guys, we will see more about Apollo in our Amazonation YouTube channel where he will give value bombs about financial management, about ano pa ba? Ano ba mga favorite topics mong pang-usapan? Financial management, investment, yes. savings, additional income, how to mm-hmm. budget. So anything, anything about managing your money. Yes, and this is going to be specialized for us, mga freelancers. Last question pala, Apollo. Are you a proud ASVA member? Super proud ASVA member and excited for you to be here in this community. Yay! Thank you so much. Kakain na po kami. Bye!
I am Lisha Kino. I am the CEO and founder of Amazon Mission, and today I'm going to tell you all about our rebranding. Monotonous repetition means is that you're going to do the same thing every day until you get your results. If you want your story to be interesting, parang mas gugustuhin mo gumawa ng story na hindi boring and you're just in your comfort zone, but you'll go for adventure and challenges. Tuloy-tuloy lang po. Meron po talaga tayong dawan. Huwag po kayong mag-stop. Never give up. Magkakaroon ng fire. Real, 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 ko uli po siya. Ngayon, sa wakas, nag-sales na siya. So, nagdodoble, triple, ganun po. I'm a believer na everything happens for a reason. Napunta ako sa isang webinar ni Coach Lish at doon ako nakapagsabi sa sarili ko na oh, gusto ko tong gawin. Maging Amazon seller B. Maraming tao during that mastermind na nagpo-push sa akin. Yung mismo mga sellers na yun, sinasabi na, hindi, sige, kaya mo yan. Ganito yung gawin natin. Ganitong strategy gawin natin. And talagang natatak yun sa isip ko. Sabi ko, di ako pwede mag-fail kasi may mga tao pang naniniwala sa akin. Gusto ko i-share din yun. So, nag-bumuha ko ng community. And five years ago, true enough, na-build ang Amazon Nation because of that inspiration. Alam ko, marami sa inyo sinasabi, si Coach Lee, si Coach Lish, pero ang totoo niyan, yung mga nag-inspire sa akin, ako nang-inspire ako sa mga coaches, yung mga coaches na-inspire sa inyo, and kayo tinutulungan nyo ngayon yung community. Nagbagong buhay kayo, hindi naman dahil lang sa akin. Dahil sa lahat sa atin. It's because of the community. We have a lot of courses out there. But inside the Amazon Nation, natutuwa ako and very proud because it's what we pass on the care for each and every one. Because of what we build in Amazon Nation, ang dami-daming nagbagong buhay. horizon, touch more lives of even more people, and more e-commerce platform. Let's celebrate the birth of Amaze Nation. Here's to life-changing learning and extraordinary living. Yeah.